some beautiful snake skin. Now, I'm not 100% sure what snake it's for. Um, we can see that it's kind of got a brownish appearance on the top here, and the snake then carries on, and it's got a very sort of triangle, or not triangle, I would say a rectangular head. So that's the head area there. It's difficult to see because the bottom jaw is not attached, but this would be where the head comes around, the front of it, and then back again. You can actually see the little pits, and then the eyes would have just been here on the side. Now, the rectangular sort of head of this shape could be a number of different species. It could be a mamba, it could be a brown house snake. They both have quite sort of squared off front heads like that, but difficult to say. It feels really weird though because of the sort of moisture in the grass this morning and the fact that this was covered in dew. It was all sticky when we first picked it up and it felt like sort of skin that was still alive. It was really very odd indeed, but it has now kind of dried out a little bit and it's now going back to more snake skin like structure, but really is amazing that you can see all the details in it. And Craig was saying to me, he said, imagine how, it must, how horrible it must be to be able to have to lose your skin every time to be able to grow and have to crawl out and be vulnerable and everything else. Not very pleasant at all, Craig, I would imagine. But let's leave that here. We're not going to take that with us. We'll